everyone, welcome back. All right, today we're going to be in Genesis 19, 12 through 17, and 26, and I'm going to be reading from the modern English version today. It says, Then the men said to Lot, Have you anyone else here, sons-in-law, sons, daughters, or anyone you have in the city? Take them out of this place, for we are about to destroy this place, because the outcry against its people has grown great before the presence of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to his sons-in-law, who had married his daughters, and said, Get up, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But to his sons-in-law, he seemed to be joking. When the morning dawned, the angels urged Lot, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, otherwise you will be consumed in the punishment of the city. And while he lingered, the men took hold of his and his wife's hands, along with the hands of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful to him, and brought him out and set him outside the city. When they had brought them out, one of them said to them, Escape for your lives. Do not look behind you or stay anywhere in the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest you be destroyed. And then verse 26 says, But his wife behind him looked back, and she became, became a pillar of salt. There's a few places here where we see the Lord's love revealed. Uh, the first place is where we see, it says his sons-in-law. These were men that were engaged to be married to his daughters. They were not in that culture. There was a period of time that you were engaged before you were actually married, but you were already considered his sons-in-law. And so he says, tells them, get out. And they, he's joking. So what we see here is the Lord showing us that sometimes you are going to be in a situation that he has told you to get out of, that he has told you, this is not where I want you. There's sin all around you, or there's something here that I want you removed from. And you're going to try and take people with you, whether it be by family relationship or some other type of relationship that you care about. And they are going to think that you're joking and that you're not serious or that for some reason they are not going to want to go with you. But that doesn't mean that you stay behind with them. If the Lord is telling you to leave, just like Lot, you leave. And that is the Lord giving us an example. It is his love revealed to us that when he said leave, you leave. The second thing is, is that we see that, that Lot lingered. These angels are like, get out, get, arise, get out, get out of this place. And he lingered. And the Lord shows us here with his love. They grabbed their hands and they took them out. There are going to be times that the Lord will rescue you from a situation. And when he rescues you and he grabs you metaphorically by the hand and takes you out of that situation, you go and you don't resist, you take, you go when he takes you out, because he is doing it for your protection, or the Lord takes you, he, you go with his protection, and this is the Lord's protection, and when the Lord says go, do not linger, do what he says, because there's a reason, God's timing is perfect, he's never late, he's never early, he's always on time, so when God says do something, you do something, and then the last way that we see the Lord's love revealed is that Lot's wife, she <clears throat> she looked back, excuse me, Lot's wife looked back, and the angel said, said, don't look back, and that can seem like it's not very loving that she turned to a pillar of salt, but this word for look back, in the Hebrew, it means um, to look intently by implication, to regard with pleasure, favor, or care, to behold, consider, um, look down, or regard, or have respect, and so what that's saying is that she was looking back and like thinking about what she was leaving behind. And what that's saying to us is that when God takes you out of a situation, especially one that's bound in sin and he removes you from it, whether it be like an addiction or it be some other type of sin that he has removed you from, don't go looking back at it with fondness trying to go back. Because just by looking back and thinking of something fondly that was not a good situation for you. If she looked and she had wanted to go back because she was like, oh, like all these things I left behind, it would have resulted in her death. Now it did result in her death anyway, but what it's saying is metaphorically like going back, looking back at what you've been removed from, what God has saved you from can cause your death. Don't look back. <laughs> don't look back at what God's removed you from. And that's not saying don't ever reflect, don't ever ponder. That's saying don't look back at it and wish that you were back in that situation. Don't look back at it and say, oh man, like there were things that I you know, really wish I still had. No, God took you out of that situation for a reason. Do not look back at it like that. 
you can grieve, you can mourn, you can look back and reflect on what, what you were taken from and appreciate what the Lord has done. But looking back and wishing you were there again is only going to take you back to something that will ultimately cause your death. And, and by that, I, it may mean a physical death, but a spiritual death. So those are the ways that the Lord's love is revealed to us in this passage. And that's all I've got for us today. Y'all have a good one.